Guys, 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 guys. Like, look at her animation. She, oh my, must pull for sure. And that waiting animation, don't even get me started. This unit is a must, must pull based off her looks alone. What is up, guys? And today we have another patch preview. This is going to be for the 21st of December, which is tomorrow. So this will come out right after uh, today in about 24 hours. And as you guys can see, we have a winter check-in event. We have a celebration event, which is going to be more summons. We have Blooming Whitaker, new hero, which everyone's been waiting for. And we have a new lobby screen. Then for the other changes here, we have a new exclusive equipment for two units. We have the new world arena season starting. The new skin portrait revealed, it's going to be Bellion. And then we have some UI improvements, always can be happy with that. So for the first thing we have is the check-in event. You can see that it's just like a normal winter check-in event. At the end, we get another 5-star artifact and 5-star hero. I think smilegate has been handing out a lot of these recently, which I'm pretty excited for. Uh, if you guys are new to the game, you guys are going to benefit very greatly for this. So definitely want to make sure you participate in this check-in event. You get a ton of other goodies as well. And then also you're going to see we have the free covenant summon event. I do believe it's going to be a 7 or 10-day 7 summon or sorry, 7-day 11 summon event. So you get 77 summons in total. And then Winter Holiday Celebration, uh, we're probably going to get two buff events this Winter Holidays instead of just one every month because we do have, you know, the season coming up with a lot of holidays, you know, whatever you celebrate. Um, and yeah, this is going to be Blooming Lydica, I believe. Uh, her animations look absolutely amazing. Uh, ooh. <laughs> and then you're going to see, like, this, like, an animation where she's just chilling there, menacingly. Um... It's a lot of fan service, but you know, I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. So pretty happy for that. And as you guys saw, she's an earth uh, thief. So most likely going to be a damage dealer. We'll probably know more after we look at her artifacts, seductive flower. Yes. Um, actually, I don't even show you in this one. So uh, I'm pretty sure tomorrow when we do get her a uh, preview, we'll know. But for now, we don't really know what her artifact will do as of the video's recording, but you can see we also get Abigail's exclusive equipment, increased damage on her S1, a decreased defense on her S3, which is huge, or skill cooldown reduce on her S3. I think if you're fighting against HP scaling uh, bruisers, you definitely want the cooldown reduction. In general sense, you're probably going to want the defense break. It's just too strong. 100% at two turns is just crazy. So it looks like a pretty good art of, um, exclusive equipment for Abigail, especially because she needs effectiveness as well. Then we have Bad Cat Armin, so Bad Cat Stamp, it's called Speed, which is very nice. Also, you're going to see that it has extra chance to provoke on her S1, uh, increased barrier strength on her S3, and decreased buff durations on the target by one turn when using S3. This one looks pretty good, the last one here, because you can strip off immunities and stuff like that if they're only for one turn, so against units like... Lone Crescent Bologna, who have a one-turn immunity, or just immunity set in general. It's going to be a very, very powerful um, exclusive equipment. Otherwise, you know, it's really up to you if you want more Provoke or Barrier, but I don't think it'll make her too much stronger. Um, but the last exclusive equipment is def definitely a good buff. I think Abigail's exclusive equipment is very good for her, though, compared to one of the more recent, one recent ones we've had. So you're also going to see the World Arena season is ending on the 6th of January. So... And that's in like three weeks, so we don't have that much time. The skin is Rebellion, so you definitely want to make sure that you actually, uh, you know, try to get to Masters at least for the skin. The skin looks pretty nice. It kind of looks like a like summer skin in a way, which I'm pretty excited of. Maybe it's because she's not wearing any clothing. Um, but Human Conductor Bellion, so it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to go for it. I think it makes her look a lot better. I'm not really a big fan of her base skin, so the skin is very nice to have um, because it looks pretty cool. You're also going to see... They're implementing a global ban until the end of the World Arena season. Blooming Lydica will be banned from RTA, which is pretty sad. But I think it's a good thing they do so we can actually test out their strength. And honestly, I would not be surprised or I would not be opposed to them nerfing units like shortly after testing them because they don't have a test server. And then like refunding the currency you spend back if you want to, you know, um, refund the unit. I think that's a good way to balance the game. Just release the unit, ban it from RTA, give like a month to test it if the en unit ends up being too strong. Um, you nerf it and then you give back the uh, currency you spend and all your bookmarks and stuff like that if you want to refund it uh, or recall it um, or if not you can just keep it i think it's a good way to do it but yeah it's up to smile gate i don't know what they'll do so ui improvements it looks like it's for the background color of the level so before it would be you know orange if it wasn't plus 30 but now if you have like zero limit breaks and it's plus 15 the maximum level it can be on that limit break level it'll be red um Okay, interesting. I guess it'll make it easier to see which artifacts you don't have maxed out, but 
Uh, okay, I guess it's like a small UI improvement, doesn't really matter, but okay. And then for the banners that we have coming, we have Arunka, she'll be replacing uh, Lyrica, Fire Lyrica. Then we have Elena here, who will be replacing Arunka. And then we'll most likely be running alongside Blooming Lyrica, the limited unit. And yeah, you can see here, Blooming Lyrica is running on the 28th. So we'll probably get a data mine or a skill preview probably tomorrow or the day after. And I'll be releasing a video on that. Uh, but for now, this is the current schedule for the banners. You're also going to see this is the Mystic Summon rotation coming up. A lot of people thought it'd be Zeal, but it's not. We have Specimen Says, Spirit Eyes Selene, Bellion, who's probably the best of the bunch, which we'll talk about. And we have Judge Kisei, who needs a buff. And the Coin Shop rotation, here it is. Uh, Astromancer, Elena, Faithless Lydica, Operator Cigarette. And then we have for the Covenants, Luca, Cowric, and Cecilia, so pretty cool. So yeah, pretty excited. I'm very excited for uh, Blooming Lydica here, um, as you guys know. Can't really get over it. Like, she's like floating up in... Damn, Smilegate, you got some got some fan service going on now, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the patch overall, and if you guys will be pulling for Blooming Lydica based off just her appearance, because I know for sure I will.